Nate here and I'm back for another weekly free instant tournament and today I wanted to talk a bit more about how I actually try and count up hands so I'll walk through that a bit but uh, if you want to play it I'll show you how to get into it so when in BBO what you want to do is come up to Solitaire and then down to weekly free instant tournament and give it a shot Okay, so here we've got 14 high card points and a six card heart suit. It just looks like I'm gonna bid one heart, two heart sort of hand. Nothing here has swayed my opinion. Ooh, four hearts. That is, so my partner's probably got, my partner's got, that's a pretty weird bid, but uh, sure. I'm, I'm happy because I've got a good hand. The hand must have improved somehow. Like I knew they probably had 11 points because they didn't open, but like, why is that doing? So I thought that had a shortage somewhere. seems a bit weird where they might have a shortage, but uh, anyway, uh, we got two spade losers and a diamond loser, maybe a heart loser. I've got 11 high card points there and I've got 14 in my hand, 25 missing. Um, I think they were, okay. So East is a past hand. Um, the robots don't like leading away from kings, so the king of diamonds is probably offside. Um, and I think it's best just to hope that hearts are 3-2 and clubs are 3-2. Hey David, thanks for coming in. Um, so this looks like I'm going to go up with the ace and draw hearts and then play clubs and hope they break. And if they don't, probably go down. But um, yeah. The, the way I like to actually count hands. So I make an initial plan and then before I actually start playing, what I do is I count how many dummy has and how many I've got in my hand. So I would say like two there and six in my hand and then say the opponents have five. And I do this for clubs where they've got five, diamonds where they've got seven and spades where they've got nine. Um, I probably don't care about spades so I'll forget about that at some later stage. Um, but, uh, basically count down from there. So here, um, I'm just gonna go up with the Ace of Diamonds and just go King of Hearts and another heart. And there's no good reason to finesse the heart here. And someone showed out, so West had two and that gave East three, because we had five. So basically count, do the counting at the start as possible. So again, I've got five clubs. So ace of clubs, queen of clubs, and see if they follow. They do, so clubs are three, two, and all my clubs are good. So we'll win that, and I get to throw uh, two tricks away. And just see if the diamond to the queen works. Oh no, sad to see that the king's on side, because that means that uh, the uh, Diamond finesse would have worked and could have made 13. So I'll probably get about 45%. So 28%. Uh, I was actually surprised that th that many people were taking the finesse. Um, so the finesse is just 50, 50. And if it loses, they then get into the spades, which is really bad. Um, but also it might go diamond finesse and then a diamond rough. And then you lose four tricks, which would be really bad. Um, but also just the odds of the robot leading away from Kings. I am much happier not taking the finesse there. Surprised to actually see that it working, uh, but 28% to kick things off. Moving on to board number two. So nice, easy one, no Trump. Transfer. So I'll bid two spades, three no Trumps. Um, I don't know what suit West has. I've got a single suited hand somewhere. I do have a spade fit. So usually you want to go to four spades, but also I have a four triple three shape, which sometimes you want to play um, in no trumps in match points. Um, I do have whichever suit the opponents have stopped, which uh, again, looks for no trumps, but uh, I'm worried that maybe they knock out whatever one stopper I've got in that suit. And then I have to take too many tricks straight away. So I will go to four spades, but you know, could be a three no trump sort of hand. If there was no bid there and it just went transfer and then three no, um, I probably would have um, happily uh, left it there. Anyway, my partner has a hand that makes me want to go back to three no trumps. 
looks like West probably has clubs here. Um, one question I love to ask is what's that lead from? And that to me looks like a singleton. Uh, they've shown a single suited hand, so I don't think they've got long hearts as well. They probably have six clubs. Um, I don't think they're leading away from the king of hearts, um, but this hand feels like a bit of a nightmare. Um, if I was in three no trumps, you might be able to make three no. All right, so high card point wise, we've got 10 there opposite 16 in my hand, only 14 points missing. West has pretty much everything, but um, I don't feel like I have to put the queen of hearts up here. I just have to work out, I've got two diamond losers. I have to get rid of one of them. I got a club loser and I got two heart losers. Uh, so what on earth do I do about any of them? Um, I'm gonna play low for starters. Okay. And right, I'm not worried about any heart roughs. Could lead a club up now. Like entries to the south hand are kind of limited. I think I want to lead a club or a diamond. Um, oh, this is really awkward. Um. Like I could hope hearts are 3-3 three, three and West has the king and then maybe I can throw a diamond away. It just seems really unlikely. Um, maybe it's better just to try and minimize the damage here. Like what would West lead? Like they could have a void spade, in which case they can't lead a spade, but if they had like a singleton or doubleton spade. I really expect that they'd lead one of them rather than away from the king. Um, if it is a singleton... Oh, I can lose two hearts and my two aces. All right, I think I want to draw Trump's ending in the south hand and then lead a heart towards the queen. So we'll go about a spade to the queen. Um, so again, I had five spades in the north hand and three in my hand. Um, so I have eight, the opponents have five. So always just counting down and they break three too. This is looking a lot like a singleton heart laid. Uh, they've got two spades, uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. And they've also got the jack of hearts here as well. So next question is, can I get to my hand to use this nine of hearts discard? Um, Okay, so I can win there and I just want to plonk down the king of clubs and West, if they win, they can take the ace of diamonds, but then I've got the uh, rest there. It was a bit, bit more awkward if they uh, ducked it, but uh, down one, 82%. So th there's match points in uh, minimizing how much you go down. So four spades, down two, down three. Yeah. Like, so but, but the first hand, they don't lead away from the kings and they did. The second hand, they don't lead away from kings. And I was right. So I'm going to stick with my theory. You don't just uh, need to chop and change just because it didn't work for one hand. Uh, but here, playing in three no trumps seemed to have worked well. Can it always make? Yeah, so three no trumps was where you want to play. Um, it was largely because your partner had that extra stopper as well. Um, and a really flat hand and nowhere for any of that to go. Um, but uh, cool hand. Anyway, so we're back up to 55. So moving on to board number three. So here we've got 16 points, five, three, one, four. So I'll start with one spade. One no, and I'll just bid two clubs here. Um, to jump to like three clubs, usually you want like 18, 19. Um, my partner's just weak and it looks like a misfitting hand. Uh, if I've got nine points, you could maybe make three no. So you could consider something like two no. Um, I feel like it's a little bit weak for that, but I don't think that's too bad. But I'm going to take the low road. Usually when I've got these uh, misfitting hands, I like the low road. 
Okay, and partner's got nine points, but three no doesn't make, but four hearts does. A uh, bit too awkward to find four hearts, but maybe if you bid two no, partner bids three hearts and you raise to four hearts. Uh, anyway, we aren't there. We're in two spades. And we got um, no club losers, one diamond. We got a couple of spade losers. They might get some heart roughs. Uh, here that lead looks like a singleton or doubleton heart. So West certainly has short shortage in hearts. And here again, just counting. I like to count down. So I got five hearts in the north hand, three in my hand. So that's eight. The opponents have five. But I'm just going to start uh, drawing trumps and I just want to double finesse here. So we'll lead the jack of spades and another spade. Okay, king, queen of spades is there. Took their ace of diamonds. And they didn't give their partner a heart rough, which was good. Um, and now I can just draw trumps and then my hand's high. They'll probably, no, oh no, I was thinking they'll probably 4 2, but they're actually 3 3. Two spades, so. Some people got to four spades. Okay, so here, the, there's one where partner bid two spades, but they're not actually showing a fit there. So um, I'm not a big fan of bidding four spades after that. Um, I think two no. Well, two no, I probably would have bid two no after showing my clubs rather than immediately. But uh, that worked for everyone that got there. Anyway, I'll take my 42%, that's all right. Partner had fantastic cards for us. Hi, Chess Genius. Okay, one heart, pass, pass, and I have a pretty good hand. I've got... Uh, 17 points uh look i don't have a shortage in hearts but take out doubles fine um, i'm probably just going to double and double again to show a pretty decent hand i can't bid no trumps four clubs it's kind of a really weird bid like they didn't volunteer three clubs and now they've jumped to four clubs i don't really have much to add so it feels like that's where we want to leave it but i'm not totally sure what sort of hand type partner has for this um, because they could have volunteered three clubs and didn't want to do that, and they didn't want to penalize the opponents in diamonds. They probably have some sort of length in hearts because East prefers diamonds. Um, or maybe they've just got a really weak hand with like six, seven clubs or something. But I don't like my chances of making four clubs. Okay. So here we are, six, seven, six clubs. We've got a diamond, a spade, and two hearts to lose. And yeah, we're gonna go one down. So to me, there's a hand that just wants to volunteer three clubs over the uh, two diamond bid. Um, at any rate, uh, they would probably make two diamonds. They would lose one or two clubs, one or two spades, and a heart. So, seems fine um i could duck this heart i don't really see what it would achieve it could cut communication uh but wes has a strong hand so they'll be able to get in again so we're just gonna win and draw trumps and then we got six in there three in my hands so we got nine the opponents have four and they show out so three one So I'm not expecting this one to be a good result. Um, it could be okay, but like maybe it's, I, I feel like there's another sort of 45, but uh, we, we had to try and compete and there was no sort of good way there. Oh, they didn't catch their ace of diamonds. Maybe East has the ace of diamonds. Maybe my queen of spades play from the dummy confused them. Um, okay, I'm expecting this to be a very good score. <laughs> I changed my mind. Um, yeah, 75%.
Lots of people in four clubs making. It's, it's so shocking that that made, that the robots just didn't beat it. Um, but yeah, two diamonds made 110 or 130. So even if we went down, we would have still beaten all them. So obviously competing was pretty reasonable. But as you see, like I don't get my partner's uh, four club bid. I think they should have done something the first time probably. On to hand number five. And we've got 10, 14 high card points. They've got both minor, well, no, both red suits. I just want to start with a double to show a good hand. Like my other options are I can bid some sort of forcing bids, bidding the opponent's suit. So three diamonds would show like a really good club raise, three clubs would just be competitive, and three hearts is like good with spades, and three spades is not good with spades. Um, but I've just got a pretty flat hand, so I'm going to start with a double. Not sure what subsequent doubles they play that as, but uh, this looks like a penalty double um, from my partner, and I am happy enough with that. I've got really good diamonds. Partner wants to penalize. I think they're in trouble. Um, this looks like one where I wanted to lead hearts, and happy to see partner was on board with that too. So we just want to stop them roughing any diamonds. <laughs> Hey, King of Diamonds out of the gate. All right, uh, just the Ten of Diamonds is left. I think my partner might have it. So don't want to waste my Queen Jack. And I want my partner on board to draw the last Trump. Well, draw a Trump. I think we're setting up the king of... No? Okay. I was worried about setting up uh, the king of clubs there, but uh, good news, I can just win and play my spades. Ah, nice poker hand to finish with trip queens. Fifty-three percent. Uh, so here we would have done better if partner didn't cash the uh, ace of clubs and probably get 800 on this. Yeah, so um, here queen of hearts lead 800. So even though not vo not vulnerable, uh, it's what you want to do. I don't think the defense was that tough. I don't know why my partner played the ace of clubs. I think my discard, the three, was probably discouraging. But uh, they chose to um, go for it anyway. Um, but here, we just want to keep going with it. And I think the key thing is, I reckon some people might have put their queen of diamonds, the uh, second trick. So just checking out. Yeah, heart continuation. It's really important here not to put the queen or jack. So here, this set up the ability for them to get into their diamonds. So have to be careful there. But I think going after three hearts is what you want to do. Someone did manage to get down four. So what did they do differently? Ace, 10 of hearts. Yep. They overtook and led a club. Okay. That's quite good. Um, I just wanted my partner to draw trumps and I thought that they knew that I had decent spades and could do that. Um, but that solves partner's dilemma a bit there. So nice play and was rewarded for it. Anyway, currently at 56%. Traveling all right. On to hand number six and a four, five, zero, four, 11 count. So one heart, three hearts. And there's just a four card limit raise. So I'm gonna go ahead and bid four hearts based on my void. Partner obviously has most of their points in diamonds, uh, but ace of clubs lead. Uh, we're missing the king of hearts, we're losing that ace of clubs, and I've got a bunch of spade losers that I wanna trump slash discard one on diamonds. So discard one on diamonds, lose one, I need to trump two of them.
All right, so I'm gonna win here. Um, I could draw trumps. So West obviously has a doubleton uh, club and can get a club rough if they get in with their spade. So I want to draw trumps reasonably quickly. I should I finesse? I could play like heart to the ace heart. Um, I could uh, try and rough a diamond and then go ace of hearts heart. I could just finesse. It looks like I want to finesse. Um, one thing is that when they lead doubletons, they're more likely to have an entry back into their hand to actually get that rough. So if you've got like ace doubleton heart, king doubleton heart, oh, king third heart, those sorts of holdings are better to lead doubletons from because you get that second chance. So with that second chance, then um, yeah, it means that the heart finesse is more likely to be failing, but I'm just gonna lead the eight of hearts and try a finesse and the eight just so I can stay in the north hand and let it win. If that happens, I can then do the same with the jack. Okay, glad to see the ace of spades there and not a low spade to east's king. Okay, king third heart, perfect. Okay, so at this stage, I wanna trump two spades and discard one on um, diamonds. So let's just go about that. And then we'll draw the last trump. And we can rough this rather than playing a club, which might get over roughed. But uh, 10 tricks. If they managed to underlead their ace of spades to their partner's king, they would have uh, managed to make that. So what were other people doing here? Lots of people in four hearts, some making, some going down. Um, and this is sort of like a classic hand that I see happen where you've got a singleton in the dummy and people will say, I've got one spade loser. Um, what I like to do is count all of my spade losers because I haven't trumped them yet. The trumping is the work that you need to do. And if you only say you've got one spade loser, it'd be really easy to sort of get ahead of yourself and not need to trump all of them. Um, so. Get the ace of diamonds and they threw a spade away. Jack of hearts. And here, oh, they got that roughed, but um, yeah. I would often see people say they've only got, um, that they only have one spade loser and they don't focus their attention on how do I actually get rid of all those losers. Um, so here, until you've trumped them, Count that those losers. Here we had a nine card fit and it seemed nice and easy to rough to, but even still it took a little bit of work. Here we've got 14 high card points, three aces. It's, I've got some good intermediates too. I really like aces. I'm quite tempted to upgrade this one into one no trump. Ace, jack, nine, eight, ace, 10, jack, nine, ace, nine. So opening one club and bidding a spade or a no trump next is sort of like the normalish thing to do. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this into a no trump. I really like aces. I really like my intermediates. Um, I'm not as enthused about being transferred to hearts. Yeah, I suppose that's probably better than a no trump, maybe. Um, anyway, we got a club loser, two diamond losers, a spade loser, a couple of heart losers. In no trumps, you'd try and build. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and work out how one no trump would actually play. Cause that'll give me a gauge for how many tricks I could should try and play in, um, play for in hearts. Because a typical auction I would expect is like a club, a heart, a spade, a no trump and people would play in one no trump. And if that's making eight tricks, I need to make nine tricks um, to be beating it. Or if that's making seven, I need to be making eight. Um, but it looks like maybe they get three spades, the ace of hearts, those other two aces. 
Um, you could work on clubs, but it's this hand is gonna be awkward in no trumps as well. Um, so I don't think many people would be making eight tricks in no trumps. So if I just make two hearts, that's fantastic. Um, here the four of spades lead, what could that be from? I'm missing the two and the three, so this could be anything. It could be a singleton, a doubleton, low from three. So it could be like 10, eight, four. Could it be a four card spade suit? 10, eight. Okay, so West doesn't have four spades because they're not underleading the ace, but West has three or fewer spades. Okay, West has two spades or one. Um, so here, uh, they would, the only three card spade suit was 10, eight, four, they could have had, and the tens there. So um, they don't have that. So here I'm doing some counting based on what's the lead. This is another really important question that you wanna be asking, and it'll help you pick the shape. Cause I'm gonna do some counting later, like here we've got seven hearts, so the opponents have six, but I might be able to piece together something on hand shape. I don't think it'll be relevant on this hand, but it's really a habit that I just like building just so that um, when it does come up, you can work out what you wanna do. Uh, so this is gonna be awkward to draw the, um, draw the other trump. Okay, so here hearts are five ones. So this is probably a good example of maybe I need to count the shape. So we had seven hearts, hearts are five one. There was a singleton jack. Um, but again, I can't get to the west hand to draw trumps and spades are probably four, two or five, one. I've got those two diamond losers. Um, maybe I can play a club and do something fancy in clubs. Might work. Um, just losing a club there. Uh, right. So West, I think, has probably a singleton spade. I'm just going to duck one diamond. There's not a lot I can do on this hand just yet, so... Okay, so East had the Ace of Spades, they had a Singleton Heart, they had um, Queen of Clubs, Queen Jack of Diamonds. Queen Jack of Diamonds is three. I know they've got the Jack because they sw switched to the Queen, unless Queen Dalton. Ace of Spades is seven. Jack of Clubs is eight. Queen of Clubs is 10. If the King of Clubs was in the East hand. I think they would have, um, made a takeout double or something. So I think West has it, but we'll just trade tricks. No. All right. I didn't do well here. They're getting their rough and they'll also get another one as well. Didn't really cost trying it, but um, yeah. So pretty bad score here. 17%. So people in two. Uh, okay, so if you don't open, East makes a takeout double. All right, so I would have thought they would have made a balancing takeout double or two hearts with this sort of hand. This is like pretty much the hand that I think that like when that's gone two hearts, pass, pass, I would come back in with double. Um, but they chose not to. Uh, someone else got to two hearts. Can they make it? Okay, they played it the other way up, which is... Ah, actually, let's look. Can I? Could I have made it? <laughs> That's an important one to check. It feels like a uh, pretty awkward one. Okay, so it can't make it on a spade lead. But... Uh... Down one for my 18%. Not too sad about that one. As I said, lots of people in one no trump, um, but defending two diamonds worked out uh, pretty well there.
Finally, board number eight. We've got 10, 15 points. I think I'm just bidding a no trump. There's a balancing no trump. So, uh, yeah, chess genius. For this weekly free is 41.1% good. I think this has been a really tough week. Like there's been, uh, it hasn't been dramatic, but there's been lots of really awkward hands. So this week's been a bit of a battle. So, um, yeah, so here balancing no trump, uh, they show it as 11 to 14. Uh, the way that you can show 15 to 18 is double and then bid no trumps. Um, if my partner jumps, I really don't want to end in two no trumps. But I will show my 15 points. I tend to like my balancing no trump a little bit stronger than this. Um, but I'll go ahead and show it. Again, good intermediates. So we'll double and yeah, one diamond. One heart. Okay. My hand got better. Okay, we found a heart fit. The opponents found a diamond fit. My partner's got diamond shortage. Got a club lead. Okay, so, um, right. So first of all, we know West is an unbalanced hand with a whole stack of points. I'm kind of tempted to finesse uh, East for the Queen of Hearts. So if we look at this, West opened one club and then they've shown five clubs and four diamonds. So I've got nine cards in the minors, East then raised. So let's look at the uh, points here. So I've got uh, 15, dummy's got seven. So that's 22, there's 18 points missing. Um, so West, uh, usually I like this to be a bit stronger. I've got like as good a hand as I have, which gives East about three. Um, and they don't have no points in clubs. The spades are very likely to be king, queen, jack in the West hand. Um, but here, let's look at this. We've got a club loser. We've got a diamond loser. We've got a bunch of spade losers. Um, I want to see what's happening in spades to work out how I should play hearts. So what I'm going to do is just win the ace of clubs. Uh, there's no real point finessing here. And the opponents have a club fit as well, but we'll go ace of spades and just give up a spade. Queen there and the king. Okay, so West has three spades. So now I know they've got five clubs, four diamonds, um, three spades. So East has to have three hearts here. So we can just set up uh, to finesse that. A spades a winner, but we'll go the king of hearts in case it's a singleton, um, singleton queen. And then we just finesse with full knowledge it's gonna work. Cash the ace of hearts. And we've got our tricks. And I'll get the king of clubs. And good board to finish on. Nice one for counting. I knew it would pan out. So here I had to do a little bit of uh, investigation to actually count it out. I only got 57% for that. Ouch. I thought it might be a little bit better, but a uh, cool one where um, I wasn't in any rush to worry about them trumping anything. Um, oh, just disappeared. Um, anyway, I, I wasn't in any rush to worry about them trumping anything. Like I didn't have the winners anywhere. So I really just wanted to discover how hearts were actually breaking on this hand. And I knew a lot from the bidding. I knew I had five clubs and four diamonds and an unbalanced hand. But having an unbalanced hand, it already made me think they probably have a shortage in hearts. So then uh, why not check for it? So here I played spades just to find out how many spades they've got. And when they had three spades, I knew there was length there. So rather than just um, following a rule of eight ever, nine never, do a little bit of investigation. Anyway, finished with 55%. Pretty happy with that all up. Board one, I think I took the right line, but uh, scored 28% there. Uh, board three stayed low, even though it was a um, misfitty hand, um, but partner had maximum and we had a side heart fit and things broke. So made lots of tricks there, but 
Uh, I think that one's all right. Uh, board five. I reckon this is a really interesting one where if you find overtaking for the club switch to help partner out, um, would do well there, but uh, pretty awkward. Uh, I think doubling them in three hearts was what you wanted to go for. Board number seven, a little, I took an aggressive approach here. I think it was okay. Um, but obviously running into the five one heart split certainly didn't pan out well. Um, but yeah, 55%. Um, anyway, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this weekly free instant tournament and uh, big shout out to all my patron supporters. If you like what I do and want to see more of it, uh, consider supporting me in the link over there. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.